generally say there's not much that we don't do sort of for older people here at Burnage, Good Neighbours. I think probably the biggest thing really is the change in family. I just think that people are working so much harder now and they're out at work all day and you know the clients are quite lonely. I grew up in the 50s and you realise I think that this, the social aspect of families is, has changed dramatically from being a very close community with everybody knowing everybody else's business and being able to help out and babysit and do this and do that to where people became more movable in terms of having to find jobs, going away to university, which was a very privileged thing to do in the 50s and 60s. People have married and moved on and moved abroad, which wasn't available then. So extended families can leave older people without um, a family member to talk to. And I think that's where the care groups fit in, really, is that we try and fill that gap as best we can. Because we want to tackle social isolation, we actually actively go out and look for people because by the very fact that they're isolated, you know, how do you find them? I think I've known Bill about three years now. He was actually referred by Age Concern. They felt he was sort of quite lonely, really. So I went and did a home visit with him, which is what we always do first of all. And he originally was a bit reluctant to come. Then we said that we'd pick him up for lunch, uh, which he does now. And he's become really friendly with lots of the other clients that come here. Two years ago, I was just a young man. Considered myself a young man. It, this last two years, I've turned into an old one. <laughs> I was going up to Scotland and I was climbing up these hills and I was, I was as fit as any of the young ones. And it is a handicap when you lose your sight like that. You don't think in it till it happens to you yourself. But when you think in the lonely people that is in this world, we know they, they don't know good neighbours, they don't join good neighbours or anything. Well, the life's finished, more or less. We have some volunteers that are dedicated to visiting clients in their own homes. We do dog walking. We have volunteer drivers who go and pick people up and take them maybe to get a bit of shopping, to get the pension. Michael came to us, I think he just Googled volunteer driver or something, and the clients just absolutely love him. Well, I was recovering from a brain tumour at the time, and I was contemplating going back to work and then I fancied doing a driving job. The only thing that came up was good neighbours in Burnage. At first it was really just an excuse to find out if I could drive on a regular basis, but the first person that I actually helped out was this really nice little lady called Louise. And she used to say, oh, Michael, I'm so grateful for everything that you're doing for us. And it was just really nice that, that someone was so pleased with everything that we were doing for her when we were really doing very little. Oh, there we go, that's the one. I think, as with any volunteering role, you end up doing more than what you set out to do. And I started going more and more to the group. To do anything that I want them to do, but I like to be independent to a certain extent. If I need help from anybody, I'm not frightened to ask for it. I know people that could do with help, badly need help, and they won't do anything about it. I would say that it is one of the most important things to make sure that anybody, I don't care what age they are or what sex or creed they come from, that they're actually included socially somewhere or other. South Manchester is very, very fortunate to have these schemes because they're not across the whole of Manchester. We're starting to spread out ourselves now. We're starting the uh, Levin Tube Good Neighbour Scheme and we're just trying to let people know and hopefully they'll spread the word and maybe they can tell us about people that they know of and Mrs Jones at number 38 who she never gets out. Maybe she'd benefit from somebody going around to see her every now and again for a chat. So if we can introduce them to people and those people can um, build a relationship with them, build a friendship, it's beneficial to both. Cheers, buddy. Are you, are you going?